Good morning, everybody. Today's workout is going to be just a basic workout. All you need are a set of challenging dumbbells. I have a set of 10s and I have 115 for certain exercises. Um, of course, you can just go a little lighter or a little heavier. The intervals will be about 30 to 40 seconds and you wanna to go to your maximum that you can handle, but to fatigue. Um, and let's get started. We're gonna start with the warm up. So let's march it out. Just a quick warm up, three to four minutes. You can take a little longer if you like, or if you are warmed up from walking or running outside, that's great too. Let's start with heel digs forward. How's everybody doing today? Want to get those arms up? Lift that knee up now. Getting nice and warm, especially through that core. Remember, our core should be in the whole time. And remember, you wanna make sure you're breathing. Let's press both arms up overhead. Eight more. Let's go back to that march. And then let's take it out nice and wide. Let's go to a tap and reach right here. Bending those knees, breathing, both arms, push it up. Keep the arms, give me a little side leg lift. Right from the top of the leg. Knees are a little bit bent. Push out in front. You wanna get the chest, shoulders, and back nice and warm. Keep the arms, tap the toe. We're gonna hold it center and twist side to side. I may be incorporating a little boxing, so I'm gonna get that core engaged and get that little rotation. Let's add a little punch in front. Remember, whenever you're boxing, you want that elbow to come back quickly. Eight more. Four, three. Squat down and up slow. Basic to a workout. You, we always do a lot of squats here and you wanna make sure you're pushing those hips back first. Let's hold it down for three and bring it up. Back is nice and straight. Pressing into the heels. Again. We're gonna do two more. We wanna raise that heart rate a little bit more, so give me a little boxer shuffle. This is a good move to come back to, or a march or a football run in between moves. Nice and light on your feet. We're gonna angle and punch this arm. Getting that body temperature a little higher. Getting a little warmer here. Abs are in nice and tight. Four more. We're gonna sink down to a high-low with a squat. Imagine hitting somebody in the head and the knees. All right, first interval, we're gonna add a jump to this if you want. So a little variation of a squat jump, works the obliques a little more. You can sink down a little lower if you want to here. Heart rate's up. Four more. Give me that little boxer shuffle. Good job. Go to the other side. We're gonna start with that squat. High low, right here. This hand is right by your chin. If this is too
too fast, just slow it down. Add that jump. Woo. Breathe. Nice and soft toe ball heel. Abs are in. Four, three, should be winded. Two, boxer shuffle. Good job, pick up one weight. Woo! I'm gonna start with a squat press. Just one weight, just wanna check my time. All right, feet apart, press into the head of the dumbbell, squat and press. Now, keep the head neutral, hips are back. Should be still a little winded from that last set. Woo! All the weight work we do is meant to keep that heart rate up, keeping it metabolic. Keep those elbows coming into the ribs or the thighs. Hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Put that weight down, good job. All right little football run or a march in place just to keep that blood flowing. We're gonna bring this knee up into a repeater. Pulling it down. This is a good example of a low impact cardio exercise. Now if you want, you can add that little jump to the base foot. But the main focus is bringing that knee in. Adds a little cardio if you add the jump, nice and soft through that foot. Drive the arms. That's always gonna add more intensity. Four more, four, three, two, one. March it out. Get one weight again. Just hold the weight here. We're gonna do a squat with a side leg lift, starting with this leg. Whew. Holding the weight is an option. You don't have to. You can just have your hands on your hips. Whew. Woo. Pressing gently into the head of the dumbbell. Keep that chin facing forward. Make sure you're not in your chest and you're not up. Nice and neutral. Heart rate should be up. And we have to work that other side with that knee repeater. Four more, heart rate should be up here. Last one and put that weight down. March it out. We're gonna have this leg forward, knee repeater. Now if you want to, you're gonna add that jump. You have to add a little balance work here. And you wanna make sure you bring that knee in, in. Squeeze the abs, pull the arms, drive it in. You should be feeling this supporting leg and the glute. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. Good and winded, right? Good job. All right, get one heavier weight now. I'm gonna use a 15 for my swing. We'll be in place for these in a sumo. This is a kettlebell or a dumbbell swing. 
I'm gonna use a little heavier weight than I normally do because I'm a little warmer now. Chest up, abs are tight. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze your core. Woo! Only coming up to shoulder height. These are meant to be quick. Really squeeze those glutes. Think about thrusting the hips forward in a hinge rather than a squat that's deeper. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right. Nice job. Next move is going to be a high knee run. So this is like a standing mountain climber. If you don't like the jump, you're gonna do alternate knee pull downs with a little spring in your step, and I wanna see those arms up. Otherwise, you're gonna be here. Woo! So from the side, abs are in, knees are up, shoulders down, arms driving. Move as quick as you can. Pretend the floor is on fire. Floor is on fire. Get in, get out. Woo! Again, from the side, get those knees up. Woo! Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. Good job. All right. Next exercise, one heavy weight. Let me just show you without the weight first. We're gonna hold on to a weight. It's gonna be lift, lunge. So it's gonna be this type of motion. I may use a 10, because this is a lot of core, and you wanna make sure those abs are in nice and tight. Grab a weight, feet apart, up. Oh, a little different with the weight. So this again would be your cardio with weights without a jump. Sometimes we jump. Sometimes you don't. Now you're feeling it. When you go down low, go low. Knee over heel, and you're getting that rotation through your core. This is like a wood chop with a lunge. That's what I'm gonna call it. I have a little bonus at the end of this move. Really use your core to push that weight up. You're working the shoulders too. Pull this one down. And keep that weight at about mid calf, I'm sorry, mid shin. See how my back is straight? I'm going down a little, up a little, down and up, down a little, up a little. Keep this knee over your heel. Keep your shoulders back. Heart rate should be up. Woo! Four more. Feel this leg burn. Last one. Woo! Bring it up. Shake it out. Shake it out. Kick it out. We have some cardio. We have these I like to just call squat side to side. We've done a bunch of these on the step yesterday. So you're squatting. Now, you don't have to hit the floor. You can punch, but it is a side squat, side to side. So you wanna keep that back straight. Imagine you have something that that foot comes in with. So if you wanna put a weight here, you can do that. That way one foot is always behind the weight. You can even touch the top of the weight. Woo! Four, three, two, and one. March it out. Grab some water whenever you need it. We hold that weight again. Breathe. We're gonna do that other side for that wood chopper with the lunge. Feet apart, we're gonna go over to this side and down.
breathe. Breathe. Really rotate. Really set those feet. How are we doing? Woo! Great way to get the heart rate up without jumping up and down. Working those quads as well. Remember, you can do this without a weight or just holding a ball for a focal point. So many options. Woo. Up. Last one. We're going to hold this one down. Come up an inch, down an inch. Keep that weight about mid shin. Eyes forward, shoulders down. You can also do this without the weight. Abs are in, my legs are shaking. My heart's pounding. Woo, keep your focal point right out in front of you. Four more. Four, push into your heel. Three, two, abs in tight. One, put it down. That one really gets the heart rate up. Woo, all right. How are we doing for time? Right on target. All right. This one's gonna be a low jumping jack. So again, if you don't like the um, both feet out together, you're just gonna keep it low and tap side to side. But I want you to use those arms, especially if you're not doing the impact. Low jack. So from the side, you're a little lower than a regular traditional jumping jack. Your heels come down for these. Come on. Variety is the spice of life. Come on. You can also do this one if you had a fitness loop. You could put it above your ankles. Come on, get down there. Maybe go a little faster. Come on, pick up the tempo with me. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. Walk it around. Get some water. I'm gonna grab my water. Woo. Here I am. All right. Get your weights. All right. One of my favorites. Squat, bicep curl, overhead press. It's gonna raise the heart rate, but you don't have to bring both arms up overhead. So it's squat, press, in. I'll do one more slow. Squat, press, in, stand, go. Now, you can be one arm at a time, overhead, entirely up to you. Keep that elbow in close. Neutral gaze out in front of you. You don't have to go down too deep here. Just don't swing the arms back. Just bring them right to the sides. Breathing. This definitely gets the heart rate up. I have a little bonus burn at the end of this one. Woo. Four, three, two, hold the next one down. Hold it here. We're gonna alternate. Now you can alternate with the palms facing each other or bring that palm up. Pick up the pace. Come on. You can be right here or to have the palms in is a little easier. Feel how hard your core has to work here. This gets the heart rate up, a little finisher, and finish it out. Good job. Woo. Stretch those biceps, a little dynamic stretch. Woo. All right. 
job. All right, we're gonna do little surfboards. Now, we're gonna be here, hand to the floor, and switch. If you don't like that, you're gonna be right here on your tippy toes, or you can punch down instead of going down. Either way, your back is straight. Here we go. This is great for the hamstrings and glutes and quads if you're a skier or a snowboarder or a surfboarder or a skateboarder. Whew. Whew. Working that core too. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let it burn, it's okay. Change from one to the other if you need to lower the intensity. Last one. Woo! Nice job. Keep the feet moving. Good job. Woo! Deep breath up. Keep it moving. Keep that blood flowing. One more. Good work. Get your weights. All right, just keep that blood flowing. March it out a little more with me. We're gonna do a deadlift to a row. So it's a dead row. So we're gonna row at the bottom. Here we go. And come up. Hamstrings, glutes, lower back, upper back, shoulders. Now, if you want to make it harder, hinge a little more, bring those feet together. Push in your heels. Woo. Heart rate should be up. We're gonna add that little burner at the end. Reach to the crown of your head. If you need to look up, go ahead, but then have your face parallel to the floor again. Try to use your back to lift the weights instead of your hands. Woo! Shoulders down. Hold the next one down and just row. Now, if you need to, bend the knees here, that's fine. But if you want a challenge, keep that hinge. If they're a little quicker, it's your burner at the end. Keep the shoulder blades down away from your ears. Don't shrug those shoulders. Upper and middle back, come on. Reach, pull and press. Four, three, two, one, my goodness. Woo, those burners really make you feel it. Little dynamic stretch, reach and pull here. Good job. Woo, all right, we have a little more cardio. Grab one weight for this one. You don't have to use a weight. It's gonna be a squat jump with rotation. So you're gonna have your weight in your hand and you're gonna jump. You can do this without the weight. You don't even have to jump. You can do it like this without the jump, taking the hips back. I'm gonna grab a 10. Woo! I'll do it from the side. The jump starts from back here. Now you can look at the weight, but you don't have to. You're definitely gonna go faster if you don't have weight. This is one of my favorites because it's not a lot of impact, and you really feel that core. Tighten the core. Woo. Breathe. Come on. Breathe with me, come on. Woo. Sit back, little squat. Four, three, 
two, and one. Ooh, it's not about height there. That was a good one. That's a great one for core and cardio. Take it out wide. You're doing great, how are we doing? Checking my time. Ooh, how time flies. We're already at 25 minutes. All right, recover. Two deep breaths up. Not recovery, not cool down. We're just gonna bring it down Woo. to the floor for some push-ups. Now, you can do these on your knees or on your toes. We're gonna do these for about 30 to 40 seconds. I'm gonna do them on my knees, knees apart, hands in line with the shoulders, butt down. I'm not gonna lead with the head, I'm gonna lead with the chest. Don't worry about how low you go, just stay in good alignment. So make sure your hands aren't out here and that your butt's not here. Everything in line. So hands under your shoulders. Hold it there, here we go. Shoulders down. This is your strength. I know it feels like cardio, that's the point. Using either weights or body weight to keep that, bot, that heart rate elevated. Come on. Woo! Abs are tight. This is a moving plank, so you're working that core. Again. Remember, you can sit back in the child's pose in between if you want to just finish strong. Two more. Last one. Sit back. Stretch it, come forward, lift the heart, take it back again, come forward, lift the heart, take it back again. Little dynamic stretch, one more. Shine your heart forward and bring it up. Woo. How we doing? All right. So, we're gonna do another cardio set. And then I think we'll bring it down to the floor in a little bit for some targeted strength training. But I wanted to get a couple more cardio sets in. You guys are doing great. All right, so next one, we're gonna do an alternate lunge forward. You have the option of doing a split squat. So let me show you the low impact first. Tap in front of your toe. This is gonna activate the glute a little. So now you can keep these if you feel that that's enough for you. We're gonna pick up the pace and we're gonna do a split squat. Back heel stays up, same thing. We're just gonna switch in between. Knees over the heel. Second set, eight. Plant that front heel down. Back is straight. Remember, you can punch it. Third set or fourth set. Last set, maybe this is the fourth. Four more. March it out. That one gets the heart rate up. Feel how you're working that whole core. Woo. Take it out wide. Good job. Little tricep work. Grab your weights. All right. Walk it up and back. Bring that heart rate down a little bit because our legs are gonna be static here. All right. Bring it, feet apart. Slight bend in the knee, elbows up. Shoulders down. Just a regular kickback. Now you can go one arm at a time. Notice how the upper arm and the elbow stays up. What you don't wanna do is this. One of the biggest mistakes we see in the gym, right? 
nice and controlled. Go to the full range here. If you want more back and core, come here. Hinge a little more. Really, it's just more core because the back is part of the core. <sighs> Breathe. This is an alternative weighted exercise to dips. <sighs> Try not to swing. If your weights are too light, the tendency is to swing. Really squeeze that tricep. Four, three, two, one. You should be very winded at the end, barely able to finish. Just do a little dynamic stretch and then we'll stretch everything out at the end. Woo! Shake it out. Good job. Next one, we're gonna be transitioning to the floor. You're gonna get your weights. We're gonna do a row and a half burpee. So I'm gonna tuck my shirt in because that usually flies. So you're gonna be down on the floor in a low squat. If you don't like the low squat, you don't have to stay there. You can come up in between. So you're gonna be here. Row, half burpee. Come into those heels. Work the chest, shoulders, and back. I'll do one from the front. Abs are tight. I'll do a few from the front. You wanna come into the squat. Again, if that's too much, come up and do your row, then go back down. But they're meant to be quick. Come on, work that cardio. Four, three, Use your back, two. Give me one more. Good job. Looking at my time. Good job. Woo. Bring that heart rate down a little more. We're gonna do some cardio on the floor. Clock circles will definitely be a part of it, but I just wanna transition to the floor and then we'll cool down and stretch. Deal? Give me a deep breath up. Your heart rate's not gonna be totally recovered, but partly. March it out. We're gonna take it down to the floor. Grab your weights. Woo! You can be on a mat or your rug, whatever you got. As long as you're not hurting your back. All right. Bring it all the way down. Feet planted. We're gonna do a chest fly. So you can do it, I'll progress with this one, but start with your feet down. You're gonna open to the side. The tops of your arms graze the floor. Your elbow stays fixed. So you're in a slight bend. Think about the chest. Keep your abs in tight. Now keep this going, bring your legs up to tabletop. This will make it a little harder. You can stay here. If you wanna make it harder, you're gonna extend one leg out. As the arms go out, the leg extends and then do the other side. This is one of my favorites to do. You can also do both legs out. You have to be very careful, make sure your back does not arch. So if you notice my legs are up a little higher, I can go a little lower when I do one arm at a time. Don't forget about those arms. That's your primary focus here. I'm gonna go back to one leg. You can do whichever version you like, but don't forget about that upper body. Top of the arm, the tricep grazes the floor. Should be a little winded because multiple body parts are working here. Two more, one more. Good job, bring those weights together, lower the feet, lift your head, neck and shoulders, bring the arms in and then roll up. You wanna be safe about that. All right, we're gonna get a little cardio core. Clock circles, my favorite, my favorite. This is gonna raise the heart rate. If you live in an apartment and you can't do a lot of jumping, do these and then do other standing exercises, and there's your workout. It's a great way to work the core. 
without jumping and a great way to get that heart rate up. So no holding on to the legs, your hands are here. These take a little practice if it's your first time doing them. Do some crunches in between. You can go right here. Just don't lay there like a lump in between, please. Keep the abs working or go into a plank. Hands here, heels stay down. Don't cross the ankles, you don't need to. So we're gonna keep the head, neck, and shoulders up. We're gonna go around in a circle. You're gonna finish one circle, and then you go the other way. Because you're working the obliques. Now it's not a rocking horse. You're picking up the hips and you're moving them at the same time. Your heels stay down. Aim for about 30 seconds or so, and then you can build from there. Woo. Keep your knees, your legs close together, your ankles close, hands together. The tendency is to come up on your elbows. Don't do that. Race with yourself. Time yourself when you do these and count how many you can do. Do one more on each side. Woo! You're developing that next neck strength. Do one more. Woo! And hug your knees in. Uh, hugging behind the knees. Woo! Lift your head up. Roll it up. Nice job. Woo. All right, good job. We're gonna get into a plank. A full plank for this one. And we're gonna bring the knee to the outside of our elbow. Don't rock forward and back. If you have trouble with it, just hold your plank. That's all you need to do. Full plank, abs are tight. We're gonna bring it in. Keep your hips down as best you can. Try to get that knee to touch right above the elbow. Don't slap, smack it, be gentle with it. Woo. Try not to drop your head, keep your face parallel. I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. A Little bit of inner thigh here too. Remember, you can just hold your plank. Four, three, two, one. Hold your plank. Good job. Bring it to your knees. Sit back and stretch. That's a little cardio, too. And snuff that in there. Come forward. Lift your heart. Feel that stretch in your core, abs tight. Bring it back, good job. All right, let's flip over onto your back. Get one weight. This is like a suitcase crunch. It's part pullover, part crunch. You can get a little heavier. I think I'm gonna stick with my 10. If I need something heavier, I'll get it. All right, you're gonna take the weight back. Let me make sure you can see me. Your legs are in tabletop, so it's back, up above the shins. Back, up above the shins. Head is down while that weight goes behind you for your pullover. Your elbows stay slightly bent. You're not bending and straightening the elbows. Crunch. Crunch. Really focus here. You get so much more out of it. Really get those shoulder blades up. Use your core, use your back, use the lats. Three more. Two more, hold on to that weight. Last one. 
bring it in, good job. Take that weight to the side, rest your head, hug the knees in, hugging behind your knees. Lift your head up, rock a little bit side to side if you like. Last exercise. So we're gonna do little hip lifts. You're gonna cross the ankles, no momentum here. We're gonna have your hands behind your head just lightly above the ears. Hold it here, we're not gonna swing like this. We're gonna do 50 lifts. Hold the head, neck, and shoulders up. On my count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Keep pressing. Two, three, four. No swinging. Six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Ten more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty. Ah, you did it. Roll it up. Woo! I did say that was the last exercise, right? Well, you deserve a great stretch. So come on up. Let's start with a hip flexor stretch on your knees. We'll stretch everything out. I'm just gonna grab my water. Whew, good job. Not done yet. Flexibility is very important and we have only really done some dynamic stretches. So take one leg forward and press gently forward. We're gonna stretch out that back hip flexor. Just hold it there. Woo, good job. Hold it there, you can have your arms up. You can hold it there and now come back and stretch out this hamstring. So I'm gonna go back a little bit Take this heel forward. You can pull that toe gently in. Keep your head above your heart. You may be a little bit racy in the heart. You just wanna feel that stretch in the hamstring. Flexibility is one of the components of fitness. We have cardio, vascular, we have muscle strength and endurance, and we have flexibility. Go to the other side. So, we sometimes do the cardio, we do the strength, but we miss the flexibility. And that really is the best part. If you're a yogi, you're getting that flexibility. And what I hear from a lot of people who don't wanna take yoga is I'm not flexible. You don't have to be, but you will get there. And I think everybody wants to be more flexible. And it does, um, in addition to just making you feel good, it's gonna keep your muscles in great shape and it helps with muscle repair and health and endurance. So it keeps everything kind of um, responding. If you were going out for a run, you wouldn't wanna just run and then skip everything else and then bring it in. Have a seat on your floor or mat. Bring your legs in a V and just walk out, keep your head above your heart and just take it wherever you feel that stretch. You can bend the knees, you can sit on a block if it's uncomfortable in this position, especially if you're a runner, you might have tight hips or an avid walker. Walk it back in, we'll do that one again. You're gonna take one hand down, one arm up and over. Keep this hip down. And then bring it to the other side, lift up and over, really elongate through the center. Bring it all the way up, lift. Good job. We're gonna walk out again. Maybe going a little deeper, maybe not. This is about enough of a stretch for me and my inner thigh. Keep your head and eyes forward. You don't wanna look up too much here. You don't wanna cause any more tension in that head and neck and shoulders. Walk it in. Take a nice big deep breath. Exhale. You can stay here or bend your knees. We're gonna bring one arm. Let's bring it in front first. 
tilt that head away, stretching that shoulder out a little bit. Breathe into your stretch, and when you breathe into your stretch, you can take it a little further. It takes time. And take that same arm up, press that elbow in and down. Try not to drop the head if you want. You can go up and over here, getting another nice little stretch to the core. We did a lot of those um, muscle, um, what was it? What did we do um, for the oblique? And release it. Other side in front, I'm like having a, I'm just so relaxed I can't even think. The wood choppers, the wood choppers. So the wood choppers work that oblique muscle. So um, that kind of feels nice to stretch. So let's do that on this side. Bring it up, inhale, really lengthen here. Stack your rib cage right above your hips. Separate the arms, bring it down to goal post arms, lace the fingertips behind you. This is great for the chest. And if it bothers you having the legs out like this, bend the knees or sit up on a block or sweatshirt or just sit in any comfortable position. And release it, take a big deep breath and bring it in. I hope you guys had a great time with me today. Um, just to, You can modify just about anything. You can do these with the weights or without. If you are just new, do them without the weights and then you can just get that flow, especially those wood choppers. You can see where that flow and emphasis is and get the form first and then add the intensity or the weight. Have a great day everybody and I'll see you soon. Give me the ideas for the next workout. Have a great day.